So I'm recording this last because, you know, I just want to make sure everyone understands. And I think everybody who, you know, my loyal uh, subscribers fully understand that uh, we don't do second takes. We don't edit ourselves. And um, again, using the royal we that I'll explain later on. And so, but we also don't take things down and we stand by what we say. So if it takes a couple of viewings to get through, you know, um, you know, however long this video is going to be. It's well worth it because um, although I do go on and on about, uh, you know, certain topics that are not relevant to the point, the point is that um, we are lucky in this world to have people um, like Val Nichols. And um, I cannot be more excited that I can show that to the world every single day. Hello, this is Ari. Ari Shockett, and I'm coming to you from Hackensack, New Jersey, standing outside Hackensack City Hall Complex, where um, maybe you know, uh, those of you who follow my YouTube channels and social media platforms, where I focus on heart-centered bullshit um, that had do nothing to do with uh, growing businesses, but more to uh, satisfy my own desire to think that I'm funny. But... Um, one of the things that I do in, uh, I don't know, a million hyperfixations ago was uh, amateur photography. And one of those things that uh, I got into was flags. So take a look at this. So again, we are outside Hackensack City Hall. We have three flags on two poles. We have the US flag, the, uh, the New Jersey flag. And, you know, it's not that uh, windy, so you can't see it, but we have the POW flag, which is obviously, you know, very meaningful. Um, when we were growing up, when we thought there were still POWs, possibly in uh, Vietnam, um, and uh, obviously today, the whole idea is a little bit different with DNA and what have you, but I have a whole collection of flag pictures that, uh, you know, maybe I'll share. There's also a fire department over here, which has the Hackensack Fire Department, it went too far. We don't do reshoots, um, but we have the We'll go over there and get that in there, the Hackensack Fire Department one. And um, I'm here because I'm going to the post office. So I'm here because I'm going to the post office. For some reason, most post offices in my neighborhood close around 2 p.m. And it's uh, a little bit later than that. But um, I uh, have an eBay thing I got to drop off. And, uh, oh, look at that. We got another flag. Hold on. Now that's a better shot. POW, MIA, you will not be forgotten. And on this week of uh, Veterans Day, very meaningful. Especially because, especially because if you think about it in the context of like the tomb of the unknown soldier um, with DNA, we're never going to have that again. You know, in World War One, World War II, uh, after those wars, they truly were unknowns and um, there was no way to know who was who and they had a special ceremony to pick from the different uh, people that could have been eligible. But with DNA advancement, we'll never know. And there's been talk of, you know, from some people that try to dig up the unknowns to try to figure it out. And of course, many people don't want to do that because, you know, then they can't, uh, you know, continue to, you know, believe that maybe that is their loved one but um with all that being said today is a very special day because um i uh received a very special gift from a very special person and i'm it, it absolutely made my day and i'm wearing it with pride and it is oh it's just great look at these details i mean it is just great and um you know val nichols who does focus on heart-centered um, business development and uh, entrepreneurs that are have ADHD but are heart-centered and and devoted to conquering that. And um, you know what I've said since I met her is that I I look at people like her and others as being you know on a we're all on this escalator together. Um, and I'm just a few, a few steps back on the movie escalator. So it's not that, uh, you know, I can't, uh, it's not a matter of putting her on this like pedestal of, uh, you know, um, deity. I, I think I was accused once of, of doing that, but that's not the point. It's that, uh, 
I, I, I look at people like Val as inspirations of, you know, where I can go and what I can do and um, what can be achieved. And, um, and also on a personal level, um, you know, she's been there for me pretty much since I met her and um, on, on many different occasions. And so, Val, I love you very much and I'm very grateful and I'm thrilled about the hat. I could not be more thrilled and um, I will, I'm sure, talk to you very, very soon. And uh, gotta check the Michigan game. But uh, they, if they're winning, we'll do a, even if they're not winning, we'll do a podcast maybe on that as well. But, uh, and uh, let me know what you, what you think of my new uh, sunglasses. Be well, and God bless, and uh, God bless America. God bless people like Val, not just Val, but people that have that type of attitude and way of being and way of life. Um, someone who, um, you know, isn't gonna let her, uh, you know, people depending on her down when she's, you know, in the background, you know, crying her eyes out. And, and um, you know, there's no reason that she needs to carry that burden on her shoulders, but the fact that she does, and you know, we don't even know about it, and the other sacrifices that she makes to help people like me and others that, that she really has helped on a consistent basis really shows the type of person that she is. And um, love you for it, pal. So just for the record, I was wrong. The far one is the fire department flag. We'll go take a look at it. We could use a breeze, but we aren't getting cooperating uh, weather here. Oh, yeah, maybe a little puff there. I also have uh, quite a few um, pictures of memorials for 9-11. Um, I can tell you that from where I live here, you can see the uh, lights of the uh, Twin Towers that they put up every year on 9-11 uh, um, on the anniversary. And I've never, I've driven by this many times and never seen it. So let's take a quick look. I have to say that, I have to say this is a very well done memorial. You have the state flag, the US flag, you have two fire hydrants, notably with the uh, hoses that have been taken off, as well as what I can only imagine is the girder from the building itself. And you have, um, you know, the plaque in memory of those killed on September 11, 2001. And, um, you know, it's not personalized, so I don't know if uh, any, uh, you know, New Jersey or Hackensack um, firefighters were there, but I can tell you we're pretty damn close. Um, we're about six, eight miles from New York City right now. And of course, finally getting wind on the, uh, the other ones. That's how fly photography goes, you know. You know, people think that, uh, you know, our, our ADHD fixations, hyperfixations are so easy. Let me tell you, catching a flag, catching a flag when it's moving, that's just as hard as like animal photography, you know. And uh, that's not easy. And here we have another uh, memorial plaque just down the road. So it's the twin flagpoles dedicated to Hackensack veterans of all wars, 566. Uh, I guess they may know, I see. These two flagpoles, which are the ones we were looking at before. Okay. I often interestingly find that when you walk around these places, you find memorials all over the place. Of course, you also uh, scare the shit out of the uh, people that work here when you start taking pictures of their buildings. This is, uh, I'll show you a picture. Looks like the uh, the crest, the logo, city of Hackensack. I don't know who that is on there in New Jersey. I'm sure it'll be um, approached by an officer in the next few minutes. Looks like some uh, Native American. There's a name on there, let's take a look. Looks like the guy's name is Oratai. And now, because of course you can't let it go, and there's only one parking lot left, one of our hyperfixations having to do with photography was on uh, police motorcycles, but I don't see any here. So we're just gonna uh, take it as a big win that we didn't have to, um, you know, deal with the police. <laughs> Although this sign is a good one. It reads, police, city of Hackensack, proud to be stigma free, no parking anytime. 
Now, I'm going to imagine that what they mean by like that is that, um, you know, they don't hold stigma against other people. Um, the fact that they're from Hackensack and, you know, kind of a bunch of... I shouldn't even say it because I am going to put this on social media, but let's just say I have not had the best experience with uh, members of the uh, police and sheriff's departments that are based in this town. Um, but I'm sure the ones left are all the stigma-free ones. Um, but, uh, you know, they, they put it out there, that, that's for sure. And they got to stay safe. It's just too bad that oftentimes their way of staying safe is by trampling on everybody else. But hopefully one day they'll figure out other methods to uh, deal with that kind of uh, issue. And uh, I don't know what the deal is with this building, but since I'm here, with the hecky yuckety Looks pretty out of place in where we are in Hackensack. Most people, of course, only know from Hackensack from the movie Brewster's Millions with uh, Richard Pryor, John Candy. But uh, there you go, Hackensack, New Jersey. Val, we still love you. And of course, that means the royal we. Uh, my, my pronouns, um, I should have said this in the beginning, my pronouns are uh, the royal we, or some conjugation of your emperorness or your uh, kick acidness. Um, or some reference to the fact that I'm a lifetime member of Mensa. Um, any of those are sufficient. Um, or that I'm very good in bed. That, that would be an okay, you know, uh, thing as well. But, um, you know, I don't, uh, I don't, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep, uh, I'm trying to keep my intensity, you know, since I don't have ADHD anymore, but rather intensity, I try to keep the intensity down. But, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed um, I can tell you that this hat, you know, ever since, um, I, uh, had some relocation issues, my stock of baseball hats, uh, diminished greatly as they did actually in the period prior to that, um, hats that meant something to me and that, that had uh, meaning to me, such as my 180 self-care hat, uh, mysteriously disappeared. So did many, many of my other hats that meant a lot. But um, lo and behold, um, bought a new 180 self-care hat, which will now be dislodged. Well, actually, the hat I've been wearing is a, uh, just recently, is a hockey Red Wings hat that makes a play on words that uh, hockey fights cancer with the wings. Because my mom is, uh, I don't know, has two or three types of that. But um, those are both dislodged. This is a great hat, Val. It matches everything. I mean, it matches everything. And I didn't even go to FIT. But um, I will stop at that. And like uh, Felicia used to say, I'm never done speaking, but I am complete.